Dave, you're our expert of experts with a grand total of $87. That's a lot. Four score and seven dollars to you. So now you get to answer the hardest question in the world. As you know, you'll be playing for a percentage of your total. If you get the question wrong, you'll lose that much of your money. But if you get it right, you'll add that much. You've had time to think about your wager, and you have that wager in your hand. That's your hand. We'll find out later what percentage you put at risk, but right now, here comes the hardest question in the world. Sure, it's gettable, but only by the most knowledgeable expert. Is that you? Let's find out. Here's your question. On the album version of Psycho Killer that lasted 4 minutes and 20 seconds and became the band's first radio hit, how many times does David Byrne sing the syllable fa or far? This is not a trick question. <laughs> In total, over the entire song. Over the course of the entire song, you have 30 seconds. So think faster than the song. I feel like humming some other song just to throw along. <laughs> uh, it comes down to how often does the refrain repeat? Mm hmm. <laughs> All right, we need an answer. I think it repeats three times. I think the bars are ten per refrain, so my answer is going to be thirty. It is actually sixty times. Sixty times. Your logic was sound. It was just not quite there. All right, how much did you bet? Oh. oh. You lost 82 and change. You're going home with bus fare. But congratulations, you are our Liz, this is your hardest question in the world. It's hard. In the season three episode of the U.S. Port Laureate, we learned a lot about President Bartlett's education from a statement in one of CJ's press briefings. Identify the following. The President's undergrad school, the school where he received his master's and doctorate, and the school that issued him an honorary doctorate. His undergrad school, his where he got his master's and doctorate, and what school issued him an honorary doctorate. We need all three. Um, I think I got it. Go for it. Um, he, went, he, went to, he went to Notre Dame for undergrad. He got his master's and doctorate from the London School of Economics. And I believe he got an honorary degree, I want to say from Georgetown, but I know that's probably not right. That's not right. He did go to Notre Dame and LSE, but he got the honorary doctorate from Dartmouth. Oh. So there you go. That was close. Good work. On the DeKuyper's website, all of, the of all of the flavors listed specifically as schnapps, six don't have a picture of fruit on the bottle. Name five of those six De Kuyper's schnapps varieties that are not fruit flavored. Cinnamon, peppermint, mint, chocolate, Butterscotch. I'll give you peppermint and mint, although it's spearmint, and butterscotch, but the other are cactus juice, hot damn, or cinnamon, and root beer. You were, yeah, yeah no chocolate? Yeah, four or five, they said cinnamon. They only said chocolate was the only thing. Chocolate? Oh yeah, but chocolate was wrong. Yeah, okay, four of six. You got four of six, not, not five. Uh, butter, butter shots or butterscotch, cactus juice, hot damn or cinnamon, peppermint, root beer, and spearmint. We would, if if that was to get you over the top, we probably would have accepted that. But there you go. That's 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 all right. There you go.